Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So now we have understood about the introduction of the CSS, how the CSS works, and also about the intrinsic sizing, extrinsic sizing. So different types, box model, these are all the important things we have learned it. Now it's time for us to learn about the another important concept that is CSS selectors. How this CSS selectors work? Normally to apply a CSS to an element, we need to first we need to select the element right so first is that is the main main thing which we need to do to apply css for an element we need to select the element css provides you with a number of different ways to do this one and you can explore them now first one what i want to do is before understanding before learning about the css rules let's recap the parts of the css rule how the uh, parts of the css rule you'll be having to understand how the selector works and their role in the css it is important to know the parts of a CSS rule. A CSS rule is a block of code containing one or more selectors. So CSS rule is a block of code containing one or more selector <coughs> and one or more declarations. So now if you try to see here, this is a selector. You can have multiple selectors also. Here we have mentioned this one, right? Grouping selectors. <coughs> we can have one or more selectors also. And this total is called as a declaration and this is a property and this is a value so this is the this is called as a rule if you are having multiple means these are all called as a rule set so in the in this css rule the selector is body which finds all the elements with the body body element so for example star means all elements it will try to find it <coughs> there are normal if you try to see here there are one declaration so you can also have multiple declarations also so i can mention here padding of 10 pixel so like this we are having multiple declarations in the curly brackets so these are called as an declaration and that is it's nothing but a property and a value so now let's try to see the css selectors the first first we'll try to categorize this one first one is the categorize is the simple selectors these selectors are most straightforward group of selectors that target the html element plus classes ids and all those things <coughs> First one, you what I can say is an universal selector. Okay, so this is a universal selector. The first one is let's try to learn here. I will try to add it here. The first one is universal selector. So this one is denoted with the star. So this is also known as a wildcard. So it matches any element. So any element that is present, it will match all the elements. For example, if I try to give here color of pink means. So it will try to apply pink color to all the elements whatever the elements you are having inside this one so it will apply the color to all the elements this rule causes every html element on the page to have the pink color pink color text so this is one universal selector and the another one what we will be having is the type selector okay sorry so type selector here i can write type selector type selector we can also call it as an element selector also so capturing the element using with its element name so now for example let's say that i want to target this div element okay so we can use this type selector i'm removing the star so here i can use this div and i can write color of red so now only this text only the div element has a color of red so this is called as a type selector or element selector so this type selector matches the html element directly so this rule causes every div element to have a color of red color on all the thing okay so wherever the div element is present in this page it will have a text color of red the another type of selector which we want to learn is the class selector so i can apply a class to this one so here i can apply a class is equal to name so this is a class selector and for this class so i can target this class and i can add it here with the dot name so whatever the element it is having dot name i can apply the color of green now you will try to see here so the green color has been applied to this one html element can also have one or more items defined with their class attribute so they can have one or more class items also the class selector matches any element that has that class applied to it for example let's say that i am having another element p element so here i will be writing some content so in this p element now i want to target this one also uh, to have the text color of green color what i can do i can have this color class is equal to name so i can apply class is equal to name so that this step paragraph element also will apply the color of green why because we are targeting with a class name 
so this class name means it will target all the elements any element it will target which has a class of name so that is about the class selector notice we have also used in the class selector the dot notation so always when you are trying to use the css this is present only in the css you should not mention it in the html so you should not have a class with the dot name like this this is only present in the css this is because the dot character instructs the css language to match the class attributes class attribute members this is the common pattern in css where a special character or set of characters is used to define the selector types <coughs> So now let's go to the another one that is an id selector an html element with an id attribute should be the only element on the page with that id value the only one element should be present with that id value you select the elements with an id selector like this so for example let's say that i am having for this one id is equal to name okay now what i can do is for this id if you want to select this one in the css so what you need to do is you need to give hash name so this is another special character which is css which we will instruct the css language to have a hash means to find an id attribute so for the id for an element which is having id of name so we are telling that to apply green color so now the green color has been applied to this one so this is about the id selector so the css would apply a green color to the html element that has an id of name similarly to the class selector dot we are using a hash character to instruct the css to look for an element that matches the id that follows it so the next one what we will try to learn is the simple one it is an attribute selector so now we have learned about the type selector and also we have learned about the class selector the so class selector also we have learned it and another one we have learned about the attribute selector sorry id selector so these are the simple selectors which we are trying to use it now the another one which we are which we want to learn is the attribute selector attribute selector is also one of the important thing which we can use it for example let's say that we are having an attribute selector let's say that i am having here an elements to two element i am using or otherwise i will try to remove these all the p and all those things and here i am having a two element okay let's comment to this one also now i am having a div element in this one i will be having an anchor link href is equal to google home page okay i am having a google home page so we are able to see this one so i am having three types of google home page so which is having http www.google.com and this one is having we are having www.google.com slash and i am having another one https google.com okay so this is the thing so different one is having different types of urls but the google.com we are having different forms so these are the google dot google home page which we are having or otherwise i can wrap it with the div here and again i can have a div here i can close this div here i can open a div here and i can do this one so now we will get one by one down now i want to target this uh, elements with its attribute attribute means nothing but href whatever may be the attribute it may be a title or it but maybe whatever may be the attributes i want to target this one using an attribute so attribute selector you can look for an elements that have a certain html attribute or have a certain value for an html attribute for example let's say that i want to target anchor element okay which is having attribute of href so now i want to apply color of red so now all the anchor elements have an attribute of href so because of that reason we are able to get the color red okay so now i want to tell that for the href which is having www.google.com so now only this one we got the red color why because href is having only this one is having a value so we can also have the different types of things which we can do it for example let's say that i can also apply in a such a way that <coughs> i can use star in between this one for example if i use star for example href star is equal to google if i try to use href star is equal to google means 
so wherever it may be having the google word if it is present in the href value means the part of a string okay the part of a string if it is having google means where it may be present it may be present in the back side in the in the last or in the front in the middle or everywhere if it is having a google word means if it matches means then it will apply the color right here now for example let's say that we also have a another thing that is nothing but a caret symbol okay if you try to use this caret symbol if you use this caret symbol it will try to match that the google should be present at the starting of this href so the text should kind of start with the href now i can use https so whoever is starting with https then i need to apply a red color so here i can able to apply this one and another type of things which we will be having is a dollar so dollar also will be having so now we are checking that which is having dot com so at the end so all are having dot com but this one is not having dot com why because this is having slash at the end so it is it is ending with a slash not with a dot com because of that reason so this is not applying a red color but remaining two are applying the red color so now we have seen what we have seen about the attribute selector okay so we have seen about the attribute selector attribute selector and also we have seen different types of uh, operators we have seen it in the attribute selector that is nothing but uh, star which matches matches part say part of the text so caret present at the start should be present at the start of the text and here i can say another one is the dollar it should be present at the end so these are the two different types if you don't use anything means it will try to match the exact match it should have the exact match so this is about the attribute selector okay this is about the attribute selector so these are nothing but a uh, simple selectors we have learned about the universal selector element selector class selector id selector and also the different types of attribute selectors also we have learned it in the next session what we will try to learn is we will try to learn some of the other important selectors also about the complex selectors which are supported in the css we'll try to see it hope you understood about these all the basic selectors if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you